The Glass Pavilion is used for a lot of campus events and different programming things, whether they're small or large scale events, formal or informal, um, as well as dance classes and other things like that take place here. So it has a lot of foot traffic for our campus community and is a very heavily utilized space by large groups of people. This project started as a, a window treatment project. You know, could we somehow save energy by putting window treatments on windows? And the students often will have a personal experience and they'll say, I think there's got to be a better way. And then they uh, develop that thought and that, that into a project or into a research uh, proposal. The main goal for this project was to reduce the solar energy that was entering the building because that does increase cooling costs for the specific space. So I know originally they were looking at blinds to put on the windows. Architecturally what we found is the shades were down most of the time or some were up, some were down and, and so aesthetically if you walked into this space, it wasn't a very pretty space. And architecturally, it was always meant to be a pretty space. It's important that this building, and especially this room, uh, kind of remains intact as it was designed to be sort of this window into and through campus with its glass surrounding. So, and, and it is the glass P is what it's called for short. Um, and so we didn't want to put something up that made it look like, you know, mirror P. Like we wanted to make sure that it, it maintained its, its original intent design-wise. Uh, we really wanted vendors that had a lot of experience with commercial buildings. We wanted to make sure we had vendors that could suggest to us what the best fit was going to be. Uh, we needed vendors that would also communicate with the students because it was really at that point still a student project. So one of the biggest goals for the campus is to reduce our CO2 emissions by 50% by 2025. So it's looking at a lot of what are the biggest emissions on campus and how can we help mitigate that. The window films help reduce the amount of energy we need to put into the, this building or in the rec center by reducing the amount of heat coming in from the sun. So that reduces the amount of AC we need to use and electricity. The vendors picked products that they thought would be the best choice and, and, and part of the criteria was it had to pay for itself in less than seven years, you know, so it, it could meet the ship criteria. Obviously if it paid better than that, all, all the better. Once you apply for the uh, local utility rebate, they're also looking at the energy model. So we had to have a comfort level with the assumptions that went into the energy model they had to have a comfort level with the assumptions. Our local utility, Baltimore Gas and Electric, or BGE for short, they offer a number of different rebates. So we're always looking for opportunities through them, as well as if there are other rebate opportunities locally or federally um, to try to you know, bring the cost down and make the payback even quicker. So then we can invest more money into more projects. Vendors and contractors for, for the university, it's, it's not about the lowest cost. It's about the relationship and it's about partnering and collaborating, especially when it's a product that we don't have a lot of experience with. Thankfully, Absolute Perfection put up with uh, two years worth of evaluation process. We did these samples, had people weigh in, had a thousand questions. You folks were great about getting back to us with answers. And it's, it's really what helped the project go forward. What we found with the window films is they absolutely solved the problem that they were trying to solve without adding more energy. Actually uh, improve the comfort and reduce the energy cost. And so two things that are really important to us and reducing energy it helps us reduce our greenhouse gases. There's a direct relationship there. But even more importantly, reducing energy saves us money. And that's, and that's a really good thing. And if we can do both of those and improve the occupant's experience, that's even better. So the hope is that these projects, being successful, will now um, be able to be replicated on other buildings where we have similar situations. The Dallas Airport project was one of the largest projects we've been a part of, but it wasn't so much the scope of the job that was the difficult part, it was the time constraint.